Wow. I have, uh, as, I, as I thought about what to say today, I just looked at you and we, you know, how, how can you follow Clifford, even three people after him, it's hard to follow him. You got you fired up. I want to speak to your conscience right now, though. This is a time when we have to be very serious about our work here. This is life and death. And uh, as, we, as we heard in the gospel, this kind goes not out but by prayer and fasting. Do you understand me? This is a time for us to repent personally, to take up that spirit of fasting and prayer and to repent in our own lives. Little children today, I'm so happy you're here. And remember that your parents brought you here. I want to read you a little verse real quick. It's out of Hebrews chapter 13. It says, Remember those who have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their faith. This is what you see from your parents, from your leaders, from your pastors. They're here standing for life. And what we should do as we do this, as we look across the way and we see protesters, we, we get taunted by them. What's our attitude towards them? What's our attitude towards these people to stand against this law? Is it love? It has to be. I want to tell you a brief story as I close. One of the first saints of Alaska was St. Juvenali. He was one of uh, the people who came to evangelize Alaska. And this is years ago. And he wore a cross around his neck, about like this. And it was a large cross. And the shamans thought he was a competing shaman. They didn't know what the cross was. They had never seen it. And so they thought, this guy's competing with our shaman. So the, so the natives shot him with arrows. And as he was falling, and as the arrows penetrated his body, you know what he did? He blessed them. They thought he was swatting flies. But as they were killing him, as he stood for God, as he stood to speak for the gospel, he blessed them as they shot him with arrows. May that be in our hearts as we stand here today. May we pray earnestly for repentance in our own lives. And may we love those who persecute us. May we pray for them. May we understand without that we cannot move this mountain that's against us. 51% now of Americans say they're pro-life. It's working. Your prayers are being heard. Your actions are being seen. God bless all of you. Thank you.